now we are going to uh, show the different states of uh, shift registers and uh, what uh, will be the output for that uh, sh state of shift register at a given input so let's start from 00, zero. So the initial state, suppose the uh, values in the sh uh, shift registers is 0 and 0 and the input bit is 0, then in that case the output will be 0, 0 and the new state will be 0, 0. How this new state is achieved? This 0 is moved to this register and this 0 is moved to this M1. So M1 is moved to M2 and M0 is moved to M1. So if we the the new state is zero zero now if the present state is zero zero and input bit is one in that case the output will be one one and this new state will be like this this m1 will be shifted to m2 this m0 this m2 is discarded and this m0 is moved to m1 so this becomes one zero as you can see over here then Suppose the present state is 0, 1 of the shift uh, registers and the input bit is 0. In that case, the output will be 1, 1 and this 0 is moved to M2. This becomes 1 is discarded. This, become has, this has become 0 and this 0 is moved to M1. So the new state is 0, 0 for M1 and M2. Then for 0, 1, if, uh, if shift, uh, present state of the registers is 0, 1, values uh, in the register is 0 1 and input bit is 1 <coughs> in that case the output will be 0 0 and uh, the new state will be like this this 0 is moved to m2 and this one is moved to m1 for this 0 1 oh uh, sorry this 1 0 the output is 0 1 this one is moved to m2 and this 0 is moved to m1 and so the new state is 0 1 as you can see over here and for 10 if the input bit is 1 then the output is 10 and this 1 is moved to m2 and this one is moved to m1 so the new state is 11 and so on you can you can see this the, the same thing follows for 11 and, uh, and for the state of 0 and 1 as well the values of these, these values, output values 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 are calculated as per given this x1, x2. Remember that these values are calculated before the these values of m0 is moved to m1. First, this uh, x1 and x2 are uh, calculated and after that this uh, sh process of shifting the bits uh, happens. Now, as you can see that uh, it is difficult to understand uh, the values, the present state and new state and input bit and output bit all from this uh, tabular form. There is an, uh, another easier way to understand this which is called state diagram. The state diagram is a little bit more uh, pictorial and uh, more easier to understand uh, than tabular form. So first of all, as you can see, we have uh, defined four states: 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0, as we did over here in the previous one. So as you can see that now, in the from the previous chart, if you go back to the previous chart, you will see that this, uh, if the present state is 0, 0, then the uh, new state will remain to 0 0 and if th in, in case the input bit is 0 and the output is 0 0 so this uh, state diagram shows what will be the output for this given input and what will be the new state so it is all given in just one diagram this shows the next state this one shows the input bit at what input bit this is going to happen and what will be the output for this given input bit uh, if the present state is 0 0 so this one this circle shows that this will remain to 0 0 new state of the registers will remain to 0 0 but in case if the input bit is 1 then the output will be 1 1 
and the new state will be 1 0 this is same as we have seen in the uh, table previously now in case now if the in a present state is 0 1 and the input bit is 0 then the output will be 1 1 and the new state will be 0 0 and if our uh, input bit is 1 in that case the new state will be 1 0 and output will be 0 0 from if the present state is 1 0 then the new state will be 0 1 or, uh, in case the input is 0 and the output will be 0 1 and here if the input is 1 then the output will be 1 0 and the new state will be 1 1 for 1 1 if the present state is 1 1 in that case if the input bit is 0 then the output will be 1 0 and new state will be 0 1 and if the input bit is 1 in that case the output will be 0 1 and the state will remain to 1 1 so the same thing which we have seen in the table form before is depicted here in uh, state diagram catastrophic convolutional code Catastrophic convolutional code causes a large number of bit errors when only a small number of channel bit errors is received. This type of code needs to be avoided and can be identified by the state diagram. A state diagram having a loop in which a non-zero information sequence corresponds to an all zero output sequence ident identifies a catastrophic convolutional code. These are two examples of uh, catastrophic, catastrophic convolutional code. In this case, as you can see, when the with the, inf when the information bit is zero, which is non-zero or zero, then the sequence corresponds to a to an all-zero output sequence. As you can see, this is all-zero output. So this kind of code, if this kind of uh, output is generated for input bit 0, then th this is called catastrophic convolutional code. 